His real name is Marshall Mathers, but you probably know him as Eminem. He's the biggest selling artist of the past decade, earning 11 Grammys, one Oscar, and mountains of criticism for lyrics that are as profane as they are poetic. Whether you're a fan of rap or not, Eminem's life story is an extraordinary tale of success against all odds, a story he hasn't talked much about until now. We met up with him in his hometown Detroit in order to find out how a white kid who never made it past the ninth grade was able to propel himself to the top of a predominantly African-American art form. The story will continue in a moment. When Eminem stepped out of the shadows last month in Detroit in front of 40,000 people, it was a triumphant comeback for a superstar who'd all but disappeared. At 37, sober, after struggling with addiction for the past five years, Eminem has the energy and intensity of a boxer. A fighter trying to win from the crowd one simple thing. Respect. 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 You know, not to sound corny or nothing, but I felt like a fighter coming up, man. I felt like, I, you know, I'm being attacked for this reason or that reason, and I gotta fight my way through this. He's been fighting since he was a kid, living on the rough side of Detroit's Eight Mile, the road dividing the white suburbs from the mostly black city. Eight Mile is also the title of the critically acclaimed movie Eminem starred in, his character based largely on himself an aspiring white rapper with a dead-end job, a troubled mother, and a dream of escaping his bleak life. I mean, you still come back here? Yeah. To understand how Eminem got to where he is today, you need to know where he came from. Not just a broken home, but a series of them. Raised by a single mom, they lived hand-to-mouth, on and off welfare, constantly moving from one place to another. So you had to change schools every couple months? Yeah, I would change schools two, three times a year, and that was, that, that was probably the roughest part. The roughest and most formative. He was a shy kid in tough public schools and was frequently bullied. You got beat up a lot as a kid. Yeah, there was a lot of instances that I would you get got beat, beat up, up coming home from school. Beat up in the bathroom, beat up in the hallways, shoved in the lockers, you know, just for, you know, for the most part, man, you know, just being the new kid. He discovered rap as a teenager, and in its tough talk and street smart sound, found his voice. After dropping out of high school, he began competing in local rap battles, depicted in the movie. One-on-one -on -one verbal fights where the goal was to come up with the cleverest rhymes and the best insults. Hip-hop has always been about bragging and boasting and I'm better than you with this and I'm better than you with that and I finally found something that yeah this kid over here you know he may have uh, more chicks like he may have better clothes